we're diving into the world of home energy solutions today, um, specifically the Solus S6 EH1P series hybrid inverters. Sounds complicated, right? But it's not as daunting as it seems. Exactly. It's all about um, harnessing solar power efficiently, and these inverters offer a lot of flexibility. Flexibility? Like, can I power my entire house with solar during a blackout? Potentially, yes. It depends on your setup and uh, battery capacity. We'll get into the different configurations. Intriguing. So let's start with the basics. What makes this Solus S6 series stand out? The manual emphasizes safety quite a bit. Given the high voltage components, that's understandable, right? Absolutely. It stresses that only qualified personnel should handle the installation. The safety features like the AFCI and anti-islanding protection are crucial. AFCI, anti-islanding, um, layman's terms, please. AFCI is an arc fault circuit interrupter protecting against electrical fires. Anti-islanding prevents the inverter from feeding power back into the grid during an outage, which could be dangerous for repair crews. Makes sense. So it's not a DIY project. Definitely not. Improper information could lead to serious hazards. Let's talk about the different operating modes. I'm particularly interested in the backup power options. The Solus S6 offers PV-only mode, energy storage mode, and various backup configurations. Energy storage mode has options like self-use, peak shaving, and feed-in priority. Self-use sounds efficient. What about peak shaving? Peak shaving helps reduce your reliance on the grid during peak demand times by using battery power. Clever. And what about the difference between DC and AC coupling? DC coupling is more efficient, directly charging the battery from the PV panels. AC coupling is better for retrofitting existing systems. So it's about choosing the right approach for your specific setup. The manual mentions partial home and whole home backup options. What's the difference? Partial home backup powers essential circuits, while whole home backup powers your entire house. Whole home usually requires more batteries or a generator. And what about paralleling inverters for increased backup capacity? You can parallel up to three identical Solus S6 inverters to boost backup power significantly. Impressive. Installation seems fairly straightforward, but again, professional help is recommended. Absolutely. The manual provides detailed wiring diagrams and instructions, but it's crucial to follow them precisely. Commissioning sounds like a crucial step. What are the keywords involved? Pre-commissioning involves verifying wiring, performing multimeter tests, and ensuring everything is correctly connected. And the actual commissioning process? That involves turning on switches, checking LED indicators, connecting to the Solus Cloud app, and configuring system settings. Solus Cloud, is that an app for monitoring and control? Yes, it allows for remote monitoring and control of the inverter. Handy. What about troubleshooting? What are some common issues? Common issues include no grid connection, over voltage, or battery communication failures. The manual lists alarm codes to help diagnose problems. Let's delve into the technical specifications. What's the maximum DC voltage? The maximum DC voltage is 600 volts. And the MPPT inputs, how many does each model have? That varies by model. The S6 EH1P 3.8K HUS has two, while the larger models have three or four. MPPT? Maximum power point tracking, right? Optimizing solar panel performance. Precisely. It ensures you're getting the most out of your solar panels. So the number of MPPTs impacts the number of solar panels you can connect. Exactly. More MPPTs allow for more panels and more efficient energy harvesting. Let's summarize the key features. What are the main selling points of the Solus S6? Its hybrid capabilities, intelligent power management, safety features, and high efficiency are key highlights. It sounds like a robust and versatile system. What about certifications and compliance? It meets various standards, including UL 1741 and IE 1547, ensuring grid compliance. So it's a well-engineered system designed for reliability and safety. Absolutely. And the Solus Cloud app provides excellent monitoring and control capabilities. This has been a very informative discussion. Thank you for clarifying the intricacies of the Solus S6 EH1T series. You're welcome. I think our listeners now have a much better understanding of this technology. I hope so. It's a powerful system with a lot to offer.